D signs in dermatology. I am Dr. Doha Muhammad Gaber, dermatologist and aesthetic medicine specialist. I will start with the rear sign. As we see in the picture, the sign consists of wheeling, circumferential erythema, and localized pruritus elicited by scratching or rubbing of a lesion. There is increase in the number of mast cells in the dermis, and this sign occurs in urticaria pigmentosa, systemic mastocytosis, insect bite reactions, neurofibroma, juvenile xanthogranuloma, and acute neonatal lymphoblastic leukemia. Secondly, deck chair sign. As we see in the picture, deck chair. The other name of this sign is Papulo erythroderma of Ophiuji, and it presents as a widespread eruption of erythematous papules that coalesce into rectangular plaques. The term refers to a distinctive pattern of a sparing of the natural skin folds resembling the slates of a deck chair. Not a specific sign, and also reported in cutaneous Valdernstorms macroglobulinemia. Thirdly, dimple sign, also known as Fitzpatrick sign. There is a lateral compression with the thumb and index finger leads to depression of the lesion and this is a clinical feature used in diagnosis of dermatofibroma and this is called dimple sign. Dirty neck sign refers to reticulate pigmentation of the neck and this is seen in patients with chronic ectopic dermatitis. The common lesion at the anterolateral part of the neck and the pigmentation due to melanin deposition into the dermis. Donut sign. This is a central depression surrounded by an elevated rim of skin is noted on the extended proximal interphalangeal joint and this is seen in patient with sclero-mexedema. Drip sign. Patterned burned areas correspond to areas of dripping of the liquid when applied by the patient. And this is found in dermatitis artifacta produced by corrosive liquids. The poise sign. This is shortening of the little finger, and this feature is seen occasionally as a late stigma of congenital syphilis. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share, and follow other signs in dermatology. Thank you so much, Dr. Doha Muhammad Gebert.